chill stream. No detractor memes, bathroom breaks, playing WWE, relaxing chill session of Street Fighter 3. Like a damn my vibe back from 2017. Jill Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. Ah, fuck. Things are fucking breaking, bro. God damn. What was that? I'm gonna fucking sue somebody. I paid for this VR tech and it does this. This is unprofessional, guys. Yo, what up? It's your boy. Man, t man, Phil had me laughing today. So if you guys saw the video from uh, yesterday, our boy Phil, he went on a little tirade about the sexual humor and destroy all humans too. It's too much. I can't handle it. I'm a married man, dudes. <laughs> oh my God. It's like the most sham ass marriage you could ever think of besides Wings and Kelly, bro. That's like insurance fraud, like emotion, dude. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, dude, Phil's gonna keep, he keeps talking about, uh, the sexual humor and destroy all humor, uh, destroy all humans is too much, you know, it's just way too much to handle, it, it makes Phil cringe, but in an unironic way, it feels like he's talking about his goddamn self, I'm trying to tell you, we're in the self-projection art, so we're gonna see Phil do more bitching and moaning about the sexual humor. He's gonna be doing more self-projecting all over the place. It's gross. So yeah, he wants to talk about sexual humor and shit. He wants to talk about how he's a changed person. He's the same goddamn bastard. We're gonna fucking call it out. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that good fun bullshitty jive. Let's get straight into it. Question was for today's main gameplay stream, what did you see? What did you want to see me play? Would it be the continuation of Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed, which I started yesterday, which graphically and gameplay wise I was enjoying, but story and plot wise I was really cringing? Or uh, will you guys vote? We're going to talk about the results of that vote today and how that has implications on the schedule for the next week. Because, man, the next week is going to be very exciting and interesting for sure with the stuff that I've got on the agenda. It's the stuff I have on the agenda. He always has to bring up a stupid ass schedule. What kind of regular ass fucking that's how you know Phil's a goddamn alien himself. Like who sits here with a damn agenda for the classroom? You know, that's some shit. I remember getting an agenda in summer camp. Uh Wednesday we're going kayaking and Wednesday we're gonna go rock climbing. There might be some dodgeball Friday. Who fucking knows? And for lunch is fucking pizza. <laughs> like, like Phil is such a lame dude. Like I'm telling you, Phil wants to talk about no sexual humor. He wants to say he has fun, chill streams. Phil's fucking channel, dude, is the most boring, anti-fun place that you could sit and waste money on. I promise. Like aimed a little bit too high. I I actually did a, a readjustment of the camera camera yesterday, I think. Was it yesterday or the day before when Jasper was in the chair here? And I think I, I might I don't know. If it looks okay to you guys, I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Unless you think, oh it looks like it's it's too is it do you want me to lower it a little bit? What do you guys think? I knew goddamn camera Phil. I don't understand this shit. <laughs> He's like, is the camera too high? Is it? It looks the same, Phil. Looks the same like it does every. It's just pointed at the pig head. Okay, God damn. He's always fixated over his camera. Buy a new fucking camera, Phil. You don't need a new PC. You need a new camera. <laughs> that thing looks like it's from 2011, dude. Person. So you actually storm a game dev studio where all the game developers are basically crunching to put out a game with a team of 300 game developers. And it's, it's crazy because they're like, you got to work crazy overtime and everything. And I'm, re I'm looking at this. And I'm like, wow, this guy is totally 100% sticking it to the rest of the industry. Saying, you guys you obviously don't know what you're doing. If I can make a game by myself and you're killing each other for crunch, right? <clears throat> Music as well. Like everything about this game. I, I seriously mean this. I don't have a complaint yet. I've been playing it and enjoying it. There hasn't even been a game bug yet. An indie game made by one person with no game bugs. What is going on here? Seriously, like this is blowing my mind. And I'm only, I'm four hours into a, what's essentially gonna be around an eight hour gaming experience. Uh, this is shaping up to be one of my favorite games of 2022 and I'm not exaggerating. That's what I mean, like, that's why I'm sad I only played it once this week. I, I find it insulting, dude, that Phil's mind is blown 
by the fact that one guy can make a game, make a good game. You know, like, because he only plays console games. I'm trying to tell you right now, if you're on console, you need to get a goddamn PC and try some of the shit we're on, dude. Like, wait, Crab Game? Crab Game, that game was made by one guy. Blue fucking Fall Guys out of the water. Fall Guys who? And it was free. Where Fall Guys was like, what, 20 fucking bucks? <laughs> You know, and Phil's a cheap bastard too, dude. Fuck you, Phil. You're not gonna support a one-man dev team and just buy the game. I bought Midnight Express. I bought it for 20 bucks. Dude, it is a good game. For one guy who made it, he, Phil ain't lying. I'm not even sitting here calling him a liar about that. I just think he's full of shit. He ain't gonna uh, scratch together $20 and just buy the game. Support if he's that blown away. But Phil's a cheap bastard, all right? The game's supposed to make him money. <laughs> like, like, think about that. This one-man dev is supposed to be an employee of the cult of Phil. Like, this game's supposed to get, get Phil some tips and shit. Fucking amazing. But, you know, that's besides the point. You guys need to try out more indie games and, like, PC games made by, like, small teams. Because some of those are slapper, bro. Like, Midnight's Fight Express is pretty good. It's a good beat-em-up. But, fuck you, Phil. Like, <laughs> he's really, he doesn't, he can't believe that one person could put in, you know, some hard work, dedication, and effort. Because that's something Phil has no recognition of. You know what I mean? God damn. The other game that I played yesterday, I wasn't so in love with, Destroy All Humans 2 Repro. Alright, to give you some perspective, I played the original game two years ago when that got a modern remake on modern consoles. That game was interesting. It was a unique combination of kind of, you know, silly, immature humor, but that was combined with a plot where aliens just hated humans and wanted to exterminate them all and take over the planet <clears throat> with over-the-top kind of violence and, and, and stuff like that. Was there sexualized humor in it? There was some. Part of it was about hating humans, throwing cows around, destroying them, you know, without any hesitation, ripping the brains out of their bodies and absorbing them, stuff like that. This game is literally 100% sexual humor. The entire game. From the minute the game starts, the, the main character, Crypto, is thrusting his crotch at the camera. All of the jokes are based around this character, Ark Doodle, or Ark Voodle, who I guess is an alien god that was always on Earth and was praised for the size of his penis. I'm not kidding, that's the plot. And so, you're going around trying to indoctrinate people to the cult of Ark Voodle, you're trying to stop a Russian KGB from trying to take over the world by using your alien technology. And every joke is sexual in nature. Every single joke. Bro, it's a fucking game. It's a remake of a game that was made for teenagers. Like it was made for kids my age when it came out, bro. But Phil's sitting here, a 40 year old gelatinous man, bro. Like he's a Steven, Steven Seagal of video games. He, he just sits here, puts in no effort, dog, and just expects the game to just, what, meet all his expectations as the writing's concerned? It ain't made free, Phil. Play something else. You're 40 years old. You know? Obviously, it's too immature for him. <laughs> but Phil's no fun. This is not fun, Phil. Like, he used to say some stupid-ass sexual shit back in the day, and I don't have clips of the sexual things he said. But still, we're, he's being a hypocrite, bro. He still says stupid, immature shit that is worse than a, than a game from, like, 1996, dude. He's old. It's cringeworthy. You're literally constantly making jokes for 13-year-olds. It's boring. It was funny the first year you did it, and then after that, right, essentially what ended up happening was you got to a point where it was just out of control, you see? And... It was just so out of control that we need you to change. We begged you to change. We said, you're being a dinosaur. You're being outdated. You're not with the times. People want more timely commentary. People want more intelligent content. They don't want to see a guy in his 30s saying, sex, 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 boob, boob, boobs, dick, 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 every five seconds. And I know that's going to get clipped. That's okay. <laughs> I changed. I evolved. I said, okay, I get it. I got to change for the better. All right, this game, which came out in 2006, by the way, this was not a game that came out in the 1990s or in the heyday of the original Grand Theft Auto games. This was after that, all right? This game that already had a game, its original one, you know, a couple years before, that didn't have that kind of over-the-top 
yeah. 100% sexualized humor and more diversified its humor, among other things, decided to go that route actively. All right. Dude, Phil is act like he proactively chooses to say stupid shit. I swear to God. Like, he acts like the 2010s isn't when, you know, things kind of changed. <laughs> like, it isn't cool to say hard F bombs anymore, my guy. You know, some things you just can't say anymore. That's cool with me, you know? But damn, Phil's acting like... <laughs> it's a blessing that this game's able to come out as immature as it was. Because I'll tell you right now, you can't get away with half the shit that you can anymore. Phil doesn't think about that. Like, what the hell? L let's hit this fucker with some facts. Too. He wants to say, I changed. People uh, told me to change, and I changed. Let's throw up some goddamn clips real quick. Let's see how much he's really changed, bro, because I don't think Phil has changed too much, man. He sounds like the same person that he sounded like in the clips I'm about to play for you guys. Editor, man, play the clips. Video games at one point were synonymous with Nintendo, and I'm sorry, but Nintendo fanboys are the most hardcore fucking fanboys on the planet Earth. They will defend Nintendo no matter what wrongs they do, right? They will defend Nintendo. Nintendo tomorrow, Iwata could come out and say, Please understand, fuck you. We don't like customer. Suck our big Japanese cocks. <laughs> And the fanboys would come out and say, Oh, that's great. We love sucking Japanese cock. Swear to God, you freaking... You Jews, you Mexicans, you Asians are so demanding. You just, you drive me nuts. I have dishonored my family. I chose to buy an Xbox One, but I'm Japanese. Now I must commit Harry Carry. Or Harry Kiri. Or whatever it's called. Sapukukukuku. Suck my pushy pushy. <laughs> So people like to say I'm the goddamn Alex Jones of the detractor verse. I'm trying to show I ain't fucking crazy, bro. Those are old fucking clips of a of immature, stupid ass humor, right? Right? Let's watch DSP's fucking latest goddamn smacker. This one fucking smacked like a fucking freight train, boy. He wants to say he fucking changed. <laughs> All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a ride off for profits. Like cringe? You want to talk about cringe? <laughs> when Phil said that, bro, I almost fucking jumped right out of my damn skin and sunk into the fucking earth. I did. I was just so embarrassed for the guy. Like, come on, Phil. Phil, you are destroy all your life has is written by the people who written destroy all humans too. Get out of here, dude. Phil's a immature, no fun, boring ass streamer, dude. And he's sitting here attacking a game for its immature, gross sexual humor. Get out of here. Phil's the biggest goddamn hypocrite you'll ever fucking see. He literally, he, he contradicts himself every other fucking word. <laughs> this would actually hook someone on wanting to play the game more if you'll enjoy the gameplay. But my god, if you don't have an incredibly immature mind, the fact that this game is literally throwing sexualized humor at you every moment you're playing it, it's just overkill. Allow me to explain the difference. You're watching, I don't know, a television show, and there's a running joke that there's a character that really likes chocolate. That's just their running joke, is that they love chocolate. So every once in a while I see the character eating a chocolate bar, they have puns in their dialogue referencing chocolate, and you know, chocolate, chocolate, okay. So that's the running joke with the character, that's great. But then the show has other themes and things going on, all right? So you can argue, all right, maybe it's a little silly, but that's the running joke, you get it, right? Now imagine there's a show, the entire show is about chocolate. Like, every character loves chocolate, the universe has everything made of chocolate, Every word out of their mouths is a variation of chocolate. When they fart, it smells like chocolate. They piss liquid chocolate. When they're fucking, they're fucking in chocolate. Like, everything is chocolate in the entire universe. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. You'd probably watch two minutes of the show and say, I've had enough of chocolate and change the channel. What an idiot. Oh, what a loser. This idiot uses Im an immature joke. To use as a metaphor for how this game has immature jokes. That was dumb. That was dumb metaphor. I swear with Phil, whenever he tells a fucking metaphor, he's talking about himself. <laughs> 
No, I'll give you a better metaphor, dude. Imagine Breaking Bad, right? Imagine Walt, instead of, uh, you know, selling meth and cooking it to pay for his fucking cancer and to provide for his family and whatnot. Imagine Walt was just like, I got a, I got a better idea. I'm gonna go on his street corner. He fucking, you know, put, puts, I have cancer. Please donate. Please support. And he holds it up, you know, under a fucking overpass. <laughs> and he gets Jesse to go along with the scam. And they start fucking just, we're gonna hit every street corner in Albuquerque. We're gonna beg at the hot spots. We're gonna know, we're, everyone's gonna know we're the best beggars. And every fucking scene, dude, is just a scene of Walt begging for money, aggressively panhandling people as they exit a Starbucks and shit. Like, does that sound like it would be a good show? It would fucking end at season fucking two. Phil's lucky to be in the final season of his show right now. <laughs> you know, he wants to talk about I am Wendy. Oh my god, I'm done. Hold on, Phil actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Phil is so he's hilarious. Once in a blue moon, like once a month, he actually makes me laugh. Oh god, oh. It's the plot of Destroy All Humans too. It's called cringe to the extreme, to the exponential value, and that's the problem I have with the game. It's not that it's sexualized humor, it's that it's too much of the same sexualized humor overused. You understand what I'm saying? It's just way too much. Give me variety, give me diversity, give me some different, uh, you know, facets to the plot. Yo, Phil, take your own advice. We need more plot happenings on the Phil show, dude. <laughs> like, dude, all these unhinged rants you've been going on, dude. It, it, I'm very concerned. I'm about to call a mental health ward on him again. I did it once, but it was like, what, a Saturday, Sunday. No one answered the phone. <laughs> oh, no, nah, Phil. Phil's the antithesis of fun. He's an anti-fun chill streamer, dude. Like, nah, you don't go to Phil's stream to fucking have a fun chill time. Like, Phil, this is where you go for immaturity, you know? You want to see an immature 40-year-old man tell sexual, stupid-ass jokes all the time? He does it nowadays, he just doesn't realize it. But he wants to see her and act like he's changed. I can't stand the fact he does that, bro. It's like such a drug addict thing to do. I changed! I changed! <laughs> like, still sitting here sniffing coke in the bathroom, bro. So look. I keep saying this shit. I've been saying it for the last few days. You know, Phil, his channel's a no fun zone, right? There's no fun to be had here. Your only purpose to go on Phil's stream is to listen to him bitch and moan and complain about his life, to hear his old nostalgic stories like he's a fucking grandpa telling stories about war, and to tip him and to pay him. So, here's a cherry on top for you guys. Let's watch him talk about his pizza party for the umpteenth time. He acts like it's a monumental goddamn thing he's fucking doing. But I'm trying to tell you, this this is him. This is not fun. This is things that uncreative, unfun people fucking do. So, yeah, let's watch him talk about that bullshit. Let's wrap this video up, guys. And, you know, it's going to be a good time. And, for the first time ever, ever, I will be ordering pizza live on the stream all right delivered i will eat said pizza during the marathon event while we're playing the games and it's going to be a pizza party atmosphere for those of you who are watching i earn I, I urge you as well to maybe grab some grub while you're playing may not it might not necessarily be uh you know pizza but grab some grub and kind of relax with me all day long and have a good time all right so this should be a good time and i hope you guys will join me all day saturday especially if you're a fan of ninja turtles i think you're gonna have a great time and to kind of stroll down memory lane and experience these games maybe for the first time or maybe it's a, it'll be a nostalgic trip for you like it's gonna be for me this should be a really special event okay the better idea it's called pizza for everyone pizza party who has money how's this fun guys Someone please tell me how it's supposed to be a pizza party atmosphere. Phil's lazy ass isn't gonna get decorations. He ain't even gonna 
a fucking draw a pizza party on a piece of paper and stick it on the phone behind him. You're supposed to buy your own goddamn pizza and then pay for Phil's goddamn pizza. Oh, he's about to make my goddamn blood pressure go up. I gotta actually check my pulse when I hear that shit. Like, he, he, he's a delusional person. I'm trying to tell you we need to get Phil help and we need to get the cops to investigate Cat for taking advantage of a mentally ill old man. All right. I swear to God, if Phil used as much, like, of his analytic ability to pick apart a game for his humor and just use that to apply it to his own content, things just might change for Phil. But he's fucking incapable of self-reflection. It's like he suffers from anti-self-reflection syndrome. Like, there's something, there's a screw loose up there. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys could truly see that this is a no fun zone. As far as Phil's channels, because uh, certainly we have fun watching Phil on my streams. Speaking of that, uh, the next stream that we're going to do is going to be Friday. You already know, Friday night fights. Let's watch Phil fucking throw saw all over the place. <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Had some laughs with your boy. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good, fun, bullshitty jive. I'm going to catch you pimps in the next video, my friends. Peace.